Where have you been? I ask you, where have you been? Darling, you're late for lunch. We were getting worried about you. I ask you a question. How many times do you have to be told never to leave this house alone? Do you want us to be forced to move again? Do you? Well, I'm talking to you! Don't face your voice, Charles. There's no harm done. Let's eat and forget it. There was a man following me. What happened? I made him leave me. Well? I think he was killed. Oh, no. How? I didn't mean to do it. He just fell down some steps and broke his neck. Then it was an accident. You can't be blamed for that. There's another one downstairs. How do you know? Was he there when the other man was killed? Did he see what happened? I don't think so. When I got to the flats, he was waiting outside. I suppose we shall have to move again. Yes? My name's Brown. I've uh, just moved in next door. I wonder if you could spare a drop of milk. Milk? The shops are closed. I can let you have it back tomorrow. I'll see. Oh, Mr. Brown, this is my wife. Oh. How do you do, Mrs. Uh... Wilson? Mr. Brown would like to borrow some milk. Oh, certainly. I'll get you some. Sorry to barge in while you're in the middle of a meal. We hadn't started. Nice apartments, these, aren't they? Nice view out here. 
balcony and everything. Looks interesting. Hobby? My sons? You mind? Cross fertilization, forecasts, and results. Still at school, is he? No. Um, I help him occasionally. Are you on this line yourself? I'm a lab assistant in a private school. I see, and your boy is following in your footsteps, sir. This soup's getting cold. He'll come in when he feels like it. He's old enough to take care of himself. How old? Eighteen. Now, is there anything else you'd like to know about us? Background, blood group, politics, religion, bankers? Sorry, being neighbors, I was interested. Uh, will uh, one be enough? Oh, yes, thanks. Thanks, that's fine. I'll let you have it back tomorrow. Oh, please don't bother. Never stop trying, do they? So you've met the family? Only the parents. They're scared. I suppose they're always scared of something. They call him boy. Why? For reassurance? Something rare and wonderful. At present, we don't know how rare or how wonderful. Hmm. And what if he should run wild, eh? Because I see you've got to keep this thing under control. What you'll do first, Mr. Brown, is to forget that you were ever a policeman. He's only a boy. He'll be caught in the streets unprepared. Yes, that was Hall's idea. Now try to learn from his mistake. You saw him die. And this project is going to take its own time. And by then, we could all be dead. And it's going to be handled my way. As a scientific experiment, not as a game of cops and robbers. Understood? Yes, Dr. Evans. Well, what are you waiting for? Get on with it. What? Make the tea. Why the same old experiment, boy? We've been through it all before. Cross a giant and a dwarf, the result, a hybrid. The hybrid seeds produce one quarter pure dwarf, one quarter pure giant, and the remaining half are hybrids. I'm waiting for the one that breaks the rule. Highly improbable. Like me. No, because you were exposed to radiation. I'm a mutant. I'm an improbability, one that happened. So I make mistakes. I try not to, but it's natural for me to use... So I have to be caged. And we have to keep moving across Canada, across America, now here. Whatever your mother and I have done has been for your own good. And what about my children? What'll happen to them? Will they have to be locked up too because they're like me? A sharp cry breaks the shell and the flowers are shattered. Talk sense. I can't talk. I can't think. I must go out. I'll... I'll take you out in a little while. Charles, why don't they leave us alone? They're frightened. When they meet something they're not used to, they panic, destroy. I'm frightened. He does what we ask because we're us. The only hold we have on him. Well, what happens when it doesn't hold any longer? Hello, darling. Vodka, Joe. 